Hello and welcome to AMG Timer to Time System video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to add and configure information about employees. First of all, go to Definition section and open Employees window. This window is intended to view the list of all employees, add new employees, edit and delete already existing ones. Also, you can filter the employees by some criteria, Expert Employees List in 2, DBF and CSV formats, generate report of our employees, and adjust the tables columns to optimize visibility. You can hide and show columns, and also change the order of visible columns. For adding a new employee, you should click on the Add button. Click Yes if you want the employee to have the same status schedule, wage, or benefit as one of the existing employees. Otherwise, click No. Adding new employee is done with the help of Employee Entry Wizard. Let's start filling in information according to wizard steps. Press Next to go to the first step. In the first step, you should enter or select the following information. At first, I will show mandatory fields. They are Code, Page, Division, Group, Headquarter, First Name, Last Name, Hire Date, and Status Info. All other information like Middle Name, Birth Date, Gender, Passport ID, Social Security Number, Photo, Fiscal date, date of dismissal, holiday group, you can fill in only if needed. Code and page fields are supposed to be numbers, which can be both equal and different. If necessary, you can change code field to alphanumerical type, but page can include only numbers, because it should correspond to employee number in the devices. More about code and page parameters configuration you can learn in video tutorial about general settings. From this window you can also open the list of divisions, groups and headquarters by clicking on these buttons next to each field. Here you can add, edit or delete necessary items. By clicking on this box, you can choose employee's photo from the computer. For removing, click on remove button. After entering all the information, you must also configure employee status. In AMG Tender System, each employee in different time periods can have different statuses. For example, employee can work two months part-time, then full-time. As far as some changes in status will cause in differences in employee's time card and wage calculation, the history of status changes should be kept in the database. In the status table, you can see the list of all employee statuses, other new ones, edit and delete the existing ones. As we are adding new employee, we don't have any status yet. So for adding new status, click on the Add button. First of all, enter the date from which the employee status will be applied. Then choose the status type, if it is active or inactive. Then select corresponding working time and deployment. These are informational fields which are used in employees filtering process and do not affect employees time card or wage calculation in any way. From pay policy select the pay policy of the employee. By clicking on this small button next to the pay policy field, you will open pay policies window where you can configure policy settings. More about pay policy configuration you can find in pay policy video tutorial. Then after choosing necessary pay policy, you can also select the reason of changing employee status. This field is also informational and is used in employee's filtering process. For adding new reasons, as well as editing and deleting already existing ones, you need to open reasons window by clicking on this button. Here you can add and edit delete reasons like you do in any other window. Finally, you can add comments about the status. And after that, click on OK button to save the status. 
You can see that the new status you have just added will appear in the status table. From this list you can also edit or delete any statuses. Now after first step is configured, you can move to the next step by clicking on the next button. In this step you have a possibility to enter other personal and non-mandatory information about employee being added. In the contact section, you enter employee's contact information, including address, city or village, zip, postal code, state, province, phone, mobile phone, and email. In the custom field section, there are three custom text fields, which you can define on your own and store in them some additional information according to your needs. Note that the titles of the fields will be the same for all employees. Below you can write some comments about the employee and also select employee's ethnicity and citizenship. For adding new ethnicity or citizenship, as well as editing and deleting already existing ones, you need to open corresponding windows by clicking on these buttons. Here you can add and delete items like you do in any other window. So now let's go on to the next step. Here you can upload files related to the employee. Maximum load size of files is being defined from general settings. For adding new file, click on the add button. As a result, will be opened new add file window. Select the file from your computer by clicking on the button next to choose file text box. If necessary, select also the document type from type comma box. If you want to add, edit and delay document types, you need to click on this button and open document types window where you can perform all necessary actions. If you have already uploaded a file related to employee and you want to open it, you need to select the necessary file and press open button. You can also edit and delete uploaded files by pressing on edit and delete buttons. Now let's continue to the next step which is assigning schedule. In this step, you should assign a schedule to employee. Schedules are one of the most important concepts of the program, and hence a signing schedule is required. All details about how to sign, edit, and delete schedules you can learn in video tutorial about a signing schedule. Now, without going into details, I will assign schedule for current week. After schedule configuration, let's continue to the next step, which is assigning benefits. If you want to add a benefit to this employee, at first check the Add Benefits box. As a result, will appear Benefit Categories and Benefit Details Tables. Details about how to add, edit and delete benefits you can learn in video tutorial about assigning benefits. Assigning benefits is not mandatory, so if you don't want to assign any benefit, you can uncheck this box and continue to next step without assigning anything. The next step is for assigning wage. This step is also mandatory. If you don't want to use wages, then you should disable wages from general settings window. An assigning wage step will not appear in employee entry wizard at all. Now for adding wage, you should click on add button. All about wages configuration you can find in video tutorial about wages. So after Wage is added, click on next button to go to the next step. The next step is intended for configuring payroll settings. More particularly, from here you can configure employee settings for ADP and BBSI payrolls. For ADP payroll configuration, you should enter ADP file number, ADP shift number, home department and home job cost number. For BBSI payroll configuration, you should enter auxiliary pay rate, workers' compensation, classification number, and hours to add. The fields in this step are not mandatory. You should enter them only in case you are 
using ADP or PBSI parallels. After filling in all necessary information, click on Next button. Next step is for granting access permission. In this step, you can give permission to this employee to use PC Clock. For that, you should enable Show in PC Clock checkbox and then into the PC Clock password field, enter the password which employee will use for punching by PC Clock. More about PC Clock you can find in video tutorial about PC Clock. Now let's go to the next step which is also the last step. Here you can enroll employees page into hand reader devices and all those devices which do not have screen. For that you should do the following. From choose device combo box choose the device in which the page should be enrolled and press enroll button. After you are connected to the device, enroll a page according to the device type. Either pass the card in front of card reader, or place your finger on the fingerprint scanner, or place your hand on the hand scanner. After passing the card or placing the fingerprint on hand, the enrollment process will be completed. If you want to delete enrolled page, then after choosing device, you should click on delete button. If you have finished the base enrollment, then press finish to complete employee entry wizard and save the employee in its page. Here you see the new employee in the list. Let me note that besides adding employees one by one from this window, you can also import the list of employees from TXT or CSV file, which may reduce the time needed for entering employees. More about importing from file you can find in video tutorial about import employees feature. So that's all about adding new employees. Thank you for your attention.